morning. All right. This will probably be the last time we'll meet like this. Is everyone ready? Uh, um, can I say something? I know we have to take Nyx down. But if you think about it, that means we'll be getting rid of the Dark Hour. Ryoji-kun mentioned that if he dies, our memories will disappear too. So if we defeat Nyx, we might not remember any of this. All of our memories. That's true. Our experiences with the Dark Hour and our personas. We may lose them. <sighs> but even if that happens, I want you all to know I won't forget you. Even if it robs us of all our memories together, I swear, I'll still remember you all. <laughs> what do you mean, Yucatan? Of course we'll remember each other. I won't forget you either! Me neither. I as well. Don't worry. Even if you do forget about us, I'll remind you. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Thanks, everyone. Okay. In that case, let's promise to meet each other again after the battle. No matter what happens. Good idea. 
But where should we meet? I don't think it should be the dorm. We'll come back here anyways, if all goes well. Oh, right. Should we decide when we'll meet up too? Yeah, it should be a special occasion. How about on graduation day for the third years? When the dark hour vanishes, our memories might not disappear right away. So we shouldn't plan to meet too soon after the battle. And there's no other day that'll have more significance to us. Wow, you're really smart, Yukari-san. Graduation day, huh? Well, that's easy enough to remember. Yeah, that sounds like our best bet. All right, let's do it. Now, where should we meet up? Ideally, a place where we can clearly see that peace has returned to the city. Some place with a good view, then? Um... Oh, how about the school roof? Ah, nice idea. All right, the roof it is. Remember how you all feel right now. No matter what happens, we'll keep our eyes on the future. We're not going to forget anything. And we will see each other again. Right. <laughs> Excited, aren't you? All right then, let's get going. Yeah. Together. I'll do my best. Don't let us down. This will be easy. Yes.
I suppose. All right. Leader. All right, let's do this. I've been waiting for you. Very well, then. Okay. Hmm. any creeps here. You've got the initiative. In this situation, you seem very strong, don't you? I'll hit them where it hurts.
stop me now. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Not bad, Yuri. Now then, let's get back to work. We found the stairs. Let's go. Tonight, but know that we'll make it out alive. 
fight to the bitter end? Sounds kind of cheesy, but I'm with you. So, you came after all. Hugh, where's your partner? Takaya went on ahead of me. He's destined for far greater heights than someone like myself. So, if you guys are here, that means you're serious about fighting Nyx. How do you know about Nyx? I just pieced together what information Ikutsuki left behind. <laughs> of course, a good chunk of it was just delusional nonsense. He was a real nut job. You knew Ikutsuki? Oh yeah, so he was your boss, huh? It was a big surprise finding that out. And that said, we only really knew his name. He was just one of the researchers who created us. He created you? Who exactly are you? <laughs> What's the point in telling you? It'll all be over soon. We don't have time for this. Step aside. Sorry, no can do. There's no way Nyx could be stopped by the likes of you. But I ain't about to let you get into Kaya's way. Do you even understand what you're saying? If we don't stop Nyx, all life will be destroyed. That's the point! We ain't gonna live much longer either way. So we gotta see it through to the end. This is Takaya's wish. So I'm not backing down. But... Uh, all right. I think that's enough talking. Time to get serious. Let's do this. However it turns out, this is the end. I'm going all out. I'll go with... Loki! Takaya's level, but I've improved since we last fought. You can't hide your weaknesses from me. Come on, let's 
your wings. Gonna lose this time. Take this. You. Ones who came prepared. Watch this. Now you'll see what I can really do. Here's a special treat just for you. Huh? Am I? This is nothing. We came here for a reason. You think this is gonna stop us? Here we go. Take this! 
so devoted to him <laughs> you wouldn't understand Takaya showed me the light and I was in the darkness I forget how many years it's been it was before I knew about the dark hour or having the potential or any of that the Kirijo group rounded up orphans from all over 
and try to awaken personas in them. Their goal was to investigate Tartarus. What? But when a persona doesn't emerge naturally, it's difficult to control. So the kids had to take these experimental drugs so their personas wouldn't kill them. Only three kids out of the original hundred survived. And after six months, the experiment was canceled. No. So those three survivors were... So you've all suffered at the hands of the Kirijo group as well. Takaya saved me from it all. I'll never forget what he told me. Don't be bound by the past. And don't look to the future. Simply live in the moment. Honestly, I don't even give a damn about Kirijo anymore. But I'm gonna fulfill Takaya's wish, no matter what. But you... We overstayed our welcome. We're running out of time. Everyone, head up! But... What about him? I don't need your pity, dumbass. If we don't defeat Nyx, then this was all for nothing. Got it. Damn it! <sighs> Let's go, I guess. ugly clowns crawling up in droves. <laughs> You're not eating me. I ain't going out on your terms. I believe in you, Takaya. Fulfill our wish. I'll hold on to the freedom you gave me to the very end. back let's go stop messing around Situation. Some 
don't need any salvation. I'll crush that false hope with my own two hands. How are you? ahead of yours at the top. <laughs> I take it you've defeated Jin. You are quite a troublesome bunch. Even in these final moments, you still insist on fight. Why struggle against the inevitable end? Sorry to disappoint. Nothing's gonna end. Not if we have anything to say about it! Cease your petty resistance. Why not celebrate this wonderful moment instead? I'm not opposed to seeing this world off in your company. Will you shut up already? We are not letting that happen. Got it? My life was stolen from me. And in its place, I was given a power I never asked for. And so, I learned that the future is only a delusion. Only by striving to live every moment to its fullest can the soul truly be satisfied. That is why we welcome this glorious revelation to shine a light upon this darkened world. I've had enough of your shit! I'm not dying, so you can have a freaking nightlight! This is not merely my own desire. Many of my disciples have gathered to rejoice in her arrival. That's just because Nyx is causing all these strange incidents. I'm afraid you have that backwards. Consider for a moment. Who is responsible for reviving Nyx? Can a single person boast of this great accomplishment? You all worked tirelessly to prevent it, and yet instead, you unwittingly aided in her coming. So you see, this is not just my will. It is the will of all people. People cannot face death without first finding meaning in life. But the world has realized that any meaning in it was lost long ago. Nyx has come because humanity has cried out for her salvation. No way. I don't believe you. Who would ever wish for Nyx to come? No. There is some truth in what he says. I guess. Wandering without purpose, living an empty life, dying an empty death, passing your days without suffering. I don't know if this can be called right or wrong. But personally, I wouldn't want to live that way. I want a purpose, and to have others I care about. That's why I came all this way. To me, this is what it means to live. We're not alone. On our own, we may be helpless, but together we can achieve the impossible. This is what you lack. That's why you see the fall as salvation. In choosing solitude over bonds with others, you limit your own power. So a Kirijo, responsible for robbing us of our future, would dare to speak of our limits? <laughs> How laughable! Then again, I should have known better. This is just the kind of bigotry I would expect from the ones who labeled me a failure. <laughs> However, fate has chosen us. If you were calm, I told you that if you dared to oppose me, 
I would show no mercy. If you intend to deny the future I have envisioned, you'd best be prepared. You needn't hurry. The moment we await is predestined. It makes no difference whether it comes sooner or later. Please be careful! I sense an even greater power than before! What to do? Pity those who cannot see the blessing it truly is. We are mere mortals. We cannot change our fate. Out of my way! What is it that you see before you now? Hope. Oh, that's truly ridiculous. How absurd. I can't bear to watch you all. Death to all fools. Death to all fools. destined to be at odds. How can you summon such power even in the face of death? Incorrigible as always. Out of my way! Here we go. 
death to all fools! What to do? Loki! And me. This again. Is my resolve still not strong enough? If so, I'll throw away my trivial pride. With my entire being, I will bring you to your knees! There's nothing more I can do. Now, kill me. Wait. Are you scared? What a peculiar question. You must be a stranger to death if you think it is something to fear. What do you mean? You fear it, because you do not understand it. I've lived long enough. I have nothing more to say. We have no interest in taking the life of someone who can't even move. You will live to see if what you wished for comes true or not. Yeah, stay right there and think about what you've done. <laughs> what a truly Baffling group you are. We're finally here. Up ahead is the summit of Tartarus. The promised place Ryoji mentioned. Let's regroup for the final battle.
So this is the top. Look at that! In the sky! That was my name for a time. I almost miss it. What's going on? Wait, could you be... I am merely a harbinger of the fall. Or perhaps I should say, former harbinger. There is no longer a distinction to be made between Nyx and myself. I see. So this is your purpose. Still, I don't regret my decision. We're taking you down no matter what you are! I see. Then you must already understand. What people fear the most. What they try to turn away from. That is the wretched thing I have become. We know that. Yeah. We're ready. It's the one absolute for all living things. Then, you must also understand that it is futile to resist. Will you still face me? Surely, there must be fear in your hearts. Yeah, of course I'm scared. But who gives a shit? I've got too much to live for! I'm sick of running away! Living means looking death square in the face. So I won't back down. Not even from you. Even if I have to sacrifice myself, I will stop you. This is my choice. I see. Get ready, everyone. Nyx is attacking. I'm also sensing multiple shadows approaching from the lower floors. Stand by, team! Intercept those shadows! This is the final battle. Victory at all costs! Come on, everyone! Let's band together and win this! I know we can do it! Yerji, I think I can use it now. I'll go with... Persona! man devoured the fruit of knowledge, he sealed his fate. 
Entrusting his future to the cards, he clings to a dim hope. Yes, we are colonized the means by which all is revealed. Attaining one's dream requires a stern will and unfailing determination. the means by which all is revealed. The silent voice within one's heart whispers the most profound wisdom. revealed. Celebrate life's grandeur, its brilliance, its magnificence. We've overcome every challenge we face. Just accept it. Huh? Loki! revealed. Only courage in the face of doubt can lead one to the answer. to 
do. Never mind. situation. the means by which all is revealed. It is indeed a precious gift to understand the forces that guide oneself. care of this. I've got you. The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. There is both joy and wonder in coming to understand the hearts of others. Do this. 
by which all is revealed. One of the greatest blessings attained from the gift of life is the freedom to pursue one's personal goals. the means by which all is revealed. To find the one true path, one must seek guidance amidst uncertainty.
Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. It requires great courage to look within oneself and forge one's own path. Alongside time is fortune, cruel and unflinching. revealed. One needs strength to endure and rise above suffering and torment. Take care of this. Let's do it! Caesar!
the means by which all is revealed. In the face of unavoidable disaster lies the opportunity to search for redemption. with the doctor order. by which all is revealed. Beyond the journey you have taken lies the absolute end. It matters not who you are. One thing is always certain. Death awaits all. you to suffer, but the time for that is long past. Is this really what you desire? Well, I already know the answer. Very well, let us continue until the world meets its end. Avoid death. To live is to die. They are one and the same. The time has come. Operation unsustainable. What to do? You're going down! Why? You're down. 
at a time. Do it. Such a pity. You understand your fate, yet you still fight against it with all your might. If only there were more like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented, but it's too late now.
of looks like the Yoji Kun's getting pulled into it. No, wait. It's the moon that's being pulled down to us. You're kidding me. Are you saying that Nyx is the moon itself? It's coming. Soon it will descend upon us, crashing into the earth. She saved me. I'm the one who said we're always connected. That's how I know you're still hanging in there, Fuka. I'm scared as hell right now. But I know I can't give up. Right, Fuka? What's going on? Am I dreaming? Man, what am I gonna do? Can this be happening? What on earth? Is that coming from the school? Uh, are we in the afterlife, dear? Uh, I, 
have no idea. What the heck is going on? Oh, what's going on? Why is the world suddenly declaring an emergency? Someone's gonna have to pay big for this one. I guess all I can do is believe in them. Don't die out there. There's no need to worry. This isn't the afterlife. You're still very much alive. Do you remember what I once told you? How the strength of your social links will determine your potential. Listen. Can you hear their many voices? Each one's power is faint, yet they all reach out to you. Can you feel them? Close your eyes and listen. Their voices may be faint, but you hear them, don't you? I'll always have your back. All I can do right now is pray, but whatever it is, man, don't worry about a thing. I know you can do it. I know you're facing a difficult task somewhere out there, but I truly believe that you can overcome any obstacle. Something frightful is going on, but we're not giving up. That's right, dear. We have to be strong for him. Something crazy is going on here, but I know you're out there doing all you can. I'm not gonna lose hope. I learned that from you. I'm okay right now. And it's because you gave me the courage to stand on my own. So please, you can't give up. Oh god, I'm freaking out here. But I know he's doing his best out there too. I don't even know what he looks like, but I know he's okay. I can feel it. I know you're trying to stay focused. You were there when I needed you. I hope I can do the same. Hey, can you believe what's going on? I know you must be doing everything you can, so I will too. Everyone else is scared, but not me. You showed me how to be tough. I won't give up. How are you doing? Ça va, I hope. I am here for you, like you were there for me. What on earth made me think of you at a time like this? Well, I suppose you did teach me a thing or two about trust. You were the one who taught me that running away never solves nothing. And I bet you're somewhere out there fighting the good fight right now. Well, I'm here for you too, kid. I'll take on any challenge that comes my way without passing blame. You taught me that. I bet you're fighting right now too, huh? You saved me. I was so blind before. I'm sure you've got things under control, right? You always do. I know I'm not the only one who's suffered. You've endured a lot too. But you can't just give up. You taught me that. Can you hear them? These are the voices of hope that wish to help you. Separately, they are weak. But together, they will bring about a great change in you. Now is the time to draw on the true strength of the bonds you have forged. I never dreamed of seeing that card with my own eyes. This is indeed a surprise. Behold, the greatest power that you and I shall unveil. It is the power to bring about a new beginning, or the ultimate end. With this newfound power, it might now be possible. Perhaps you can save those you hold dear from that which cannot be defeated. What you have in your hands is the power of the universe. Nothing is outside the realm of possibility for you now.
We will soon reach your destination. It seems that, in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild card. You must accept your destiny. Our contract has been fulfilled. I have completed my role as well. You were truly a most remarkable guest. out there by yourself. No, don't go! <laughs> no, wait! What are you doing? Damn it! Why? Why the hell can't we get up? Don't do this! We've already come so far together! <sighs> God damn it!
are we? Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Yamakishi, is he alright? What happened? Everything disappeared after being covered in that light. I don't sense anything now. Don't tell me he... The hell are you saying? That's impossible! Try again! I can't be the only one! <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it! Not again! We put our lives on the line just like he did. In fact, we came here expecting to die. So why only him? Why am I so powerless? Am I really unable to protect the ones important to me? This is what I was trying to prevent. You're out there, aren't you? I know you are. I refuse to believe that you're gone. Answer me! I know you're listening. We're here. Say something, please. Sleep once again. Peace will return to this universe for you and for him. <sighs> He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question? I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. Your life, too, is precious. Irreplaceable. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again, someday. Now we're... How did we end up back... Hey! Look over there! Whoa, uh, What's up with Tartarus? Happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. Wait, is that? along there you had me going I was starting to think we'd never see you again guys come on this isn't the time to be crying <laughs> you're crying too Sonata san finally the team's all here what? leader huh I'm Oh no, they won't stop. What's wrong with me?
Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Looking at the current third years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me! Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talk to him. And obviously all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there, are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it! Now it's gonna bother me. Well, Dad, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Oh crap! about you. Uh... Mm, can we go somewhere else? <sighs> Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <sighs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her. I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. You don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. With you by my side, 
I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? <laughs> You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um... You must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. <laughs> what, are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so too. about the near future then want to go somewhere over spring break oh how about destiny land but just the two of us okay you better not invite anyone else <sighs> like if we stay the night and stuff <sighs> I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night <sighs> that's an embarrassing thought we can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Oh, hey, are you going home now? Okay, then I am too. At least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Wait, really? Uh, nah, maybe you shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library. Cause like there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done, okay? I mean, if I had a friend there, we'd totally end up chatting the whole time instead of studying. Hmm. But since we've already bumped into each other, want to chat for a little longer? At least until we reach the entrance. Oh, well, I'm gonna head off. Yep, I've been doing it every day. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Hey, remember what I told you before about finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so I'll admit I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. Like, I have no idea what chemistry and all that stuff is about. Seriously, it's like a foreign language. So that's why I really gotta buck up. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I really just wanna sit back and enjoy life. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I'm gonna take my dreams into my own hands. And then I'm gonna do some more studying and then get a job. But after that, we should totally hang out again. We can invite everyone from the track team too. Ooh, how about we have a drinking party since we'll all be adults by then? Um, well, anyway. I'll be focusing only on my studies for now, so don't try to tempt me with anything. Today, I'm gonna work on three subjects at once. Impressive, right? Whoops, I better get going. I still need to buy dinner. We'll see ya. Oh, good timing, man. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. The results are in. 
It's 100% healed. They said I can run all I want now. Dude, I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. But thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm gonna listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. Oh, it's you. You don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. Well... We're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I see. Well, I feel differently. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that, and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be, reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? I see. Well, I plan to do my best. Hmm. That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. This was all because of you, so... Thank you. Welcome. Oh, dear. Oh, I was just looking for you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. Good news for us. Now there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job, too. The real reason I'm writing is because of track. Before, I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. 
Track and field was my whole life. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hiei. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient. But I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look, one day, you and I are gonna go at it again. If I'm gonna be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Andre. Andre. Laurent. Jean. Gero. Oh, too long! A samurai's name should be simple and short! Oh, you. This letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? Of the writing so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind is Bebe. Hello. It is me, Bebe. Writing in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So I tell uncle that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But Uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While Uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so in France I will stay. Someday I will return to Japan on my own without anyone's help. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. 
It is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France, you and me, all so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again someday to my precious friend, baby. office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? Sounds good. People often get sick when the seasons change, so maybe you're coming down with something. Okay, let's head over to the faculty office together. Mm -hmm. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech gloves? Are you referring to technician's gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. And he's gone. Looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? Yes! I'm so happy to hear that! I was hoping you'd help me. Uh, you know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you and the team accepted me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone see my true self. So even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I don't want to hide it anymore. Now, I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. Anyways, I've got to find some club members. Hmm, do I need to make recruitment posters and stuff? Yes, thank you. To be honest, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. 
We're going to be third year soon. And that means everyone will have to start thinking about what they want to do after we graduate. In fact, Iori-kun and Yukari-chan were talking about college entrance exams just the other day. But you know what? I think I'll be okay. I have everyone here to support me, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh. Everyone? I keep saying it, but who am I talking about? Um, sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I hope the stores are still open. Let's see, I need paper. Oh, and I need to find a club room, too. I think this might be more work than I thought. Sorry, I need to get going. I'll see you later. You've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait, they were real, right? They had to be. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. Uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh! Uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurse's... Wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper? Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. My! What a charming confession of love. Did you make this? Your girlfriend? <sighs> uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. Oh, don't. Don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were. I quit! 
hate this school. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I can't live with this. Just kill me now. <sighs> so, you really are... <laughs> Um, I... I'm... <laughs> Maya! I'm Maya. It's me, damn it! You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot. <sighs> this is so embarrassing! <sighs> but... There was one thing I wanted to say if we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Anyway, um... If you don't mind... If you don't... <laughs> Mind. Uh. Mm. M maybe we could have dinner? <sighs> Go to hell with this! What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Hmm. If you don't mind, could we go somewhere for a little chat? I have some business to take care of later on. But I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic. Even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. The results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos... Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast. Especially the year that you came. It's hard to believe I've begun to feel like an ordinary high school student. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to this school. If I hadn't met you. I might never have realized what was truly important to me. Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. Even if I lose my way again someday, it doesn't matter. I know things will work out. I won't have to face it alone. You're the one who taught me that. All right, it's almost time. I must be on my way. Perhaps we could find some time to relax together on a weekend. I found a nice crepe shop that I'd like to try. 
It's a bit far, though. You'd better get your motorcycle license soon. Just imagine hitting the road on our motorcycles together. I look forward to it. Well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Oh! Are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Right now, I... Um... Oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? Uh... People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but... I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to become strong and reliable, just like the student council president. That's why I want to join the student council next year, and the year after that, too. It's a big goal, but I'm going to take it one step at a time. Well then, I should be going. forward to seeing you next year, too. Juiciest news just now. You want to hear it? Of course you do. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? Get this. So, next month, I heard we have three fine looking teachers coming in. After Emmy, uh, Miss Kano leaves, the faculty roster kind of loses its spark, you know? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. And Miss Terauchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. He's got some kind of anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse? If that's the case, sorry dude, but you're on your own. I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Wanna come? Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? So we've gotta make sure we choose the right one, if you catch my drift. Hmm? Wait a minute, wasn't today... Oh, crap! Sorry, man, I gotta split before she gets here. Ah, uh, my little sis. She'll be coming here starting next month, so she's gonna swing by today and look around. But I'm not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't want to be seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. <sighs> I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, anyway, I'm gonna jet. Later. Sup, dude? 
Wanna grab a bite at Hakakure? I haven't had their special in a while. Hold up! I ain't made out of money. I'm just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything. Right? Yeah, uh, guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, you hear me out for a bit? I got called into Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. Is it just me? Or has she gotten way more serious than before? So Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. Oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some... Woman. Huh? Uh, I did have a special someone, right? Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I want to tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that, that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten? Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. Something's been bugging me. I just don't know what, but I feel like it's something I shouldn't have forgotten. It's quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, I mean Naragaki. <laughs> Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. <sighs> I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. It's not anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? Though, actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So, I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so, starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. I'll have to keep studying hard every day. I don't think I did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them, too. Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower. But now, it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that. And the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on, 
I won't lose focus. Next year, I'm going to try again, and I'll pass with flying colors. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. I found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> oh, speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. Whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest, and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You're really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. I'm still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. Who the hell wrote this? found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk, and my wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, right? Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized. Instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. And it's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. It's meant to be. We'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk, huh? Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again?
welcome. I heard he had a hand in the hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I've heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So they put some in and sure enough, it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu too. Yes, he's the one. Suemitsu can put our coffee on the map too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are, how should I say this, eccentric? But he knows everything about food, and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There is not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh yes, I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? Oh, your uniform. So he went to GeckoCon High then. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? Oh, is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekku Khan's new school building hog the spotlight. 
Oh, you think so? <laughs> I suppose that's just as well. I'm honored you like the place, young man. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet, this makes me feel so happy. Ever since my dear heard the news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Please, dear, I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us any time. We'd always love to see you. father, if you remember. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way, living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. about you, little punk? Y you were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Uh, maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it! And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole! I'll never let you marry her! And don't you forget it!
Hello there. Oh, excuse me. Are you? <laughs> so it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki, Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? That's wonderful. Please, sit down. Today is... a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's... Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy, but him... <sighs> the doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But... He said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He... He suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. Kinari brought me so much happiness, too. Feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day, I found new joy in him. Now, I'm so alone, and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. I have to keep going, looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods, visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything. Absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side. If I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me. When my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. Then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. My son, he gave it to you? I... I see. So you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh. You should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. 
Now I have one more thing to look forward to. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinari, or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it. report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV, Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you year round, rain or shine. We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high, they're a hazard to birds. And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's 
the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. Oh, he he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Oh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in, we have reports that amazing commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and. and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai?
me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten that I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry, the ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijosa. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Am I forgetting something? Not a senpai? What are you doing? <laughs> Gurumaru! <laughs> but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. <laughs> I promise! <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. I admit, 
I'm finally noticing the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given, but to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, what's gotten into me? It's good, I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... other through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us.